The Pakembu house is organized between two streets with an elevation difference of almost seven meters. The topographic condition allowed for the capture of the Pakembu neighborhood's view and served as a starting point for the architectural project layout. A play of light and shadow is noticed right at the entrance, where a large inclined cutout in the ceiling creates a scenic effect due to the penetration of sunlight. The finishes and coatings have a neutral palette with variations of sand tones. The combination of on-site molded concrete and wood stands out as a design element. On the ground floor, there are the living room and dining room, social areas integrated with the veranda and the swimming pool. On a lower underground level, there is the gourmet area connected to the garden, and on the upper level, there is the intimate area. The composition of the furniture's materiality features natural linen, leather, suede, boucle-type cotton fabrics, and wool, all in more subdued tones, highlighting some points of natural stone in terracotta and some pieces in dark green tones. The furniture selection combines vintage pieces, such as the pair of Tonico armchairs by Sergio Rodriguez, and contemporary pieces designed by Arthur Casas, such as the Fusca sofas and the Copacabana sideboard. Various other pieces designed by the architect are also integrated. Cyclopean concrete, seen on the facade and internal coatings, was molded on site with stones, a challenge in the project's execution as several prototypes were necessary until finally achieving the ideal pigmentation and allocation of stones placed one by one, like rubber stamps on cement. Arthur Cassis also designed a pair of bedside tables specifically for the project, as well as lamps and other items. corridor surrounded by cyclopean concrete walls, molded on site with stones, receives natural light through strategically placed skylights. Access is possible by a staircase located in the living and dining area, providing access to the tunnel with its final destination, being the gourmet area and garden. In the pool area, eliminated plane is covered by glass make up the floor, revealing through transparency what happens below.
The lighting is indirect, aiming to have as few points as possible on the sailing. The breezes on the house's facade control natural light in the residence's internal spaces. The solution prevents excessive lighting in these areas, avoiding overheating and reducing the need for excessive air conditioning.